Hey guys, what is going on? This is L Lolly here, and today I'd like to do something a little bit different. Um, I get asked a lot in the clan about how to farm dark elixir, so we want to get this guy filled up. We got. 50,000 in there right now and people usually want us to do their king and their queen it can get really expensive guys so let's go see how we can go get some dark now I have not attacked in a few days but as you can see uh, spaced out here we have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 23,000 dark elixir over period of three days yeah three days so over 20,000 in three days uh, for anyone that wants to farm dark casually and I I'm not very active on this account so look look at how much I've been losing <laughs> when the last two raids have been 5,000 each you know you're doing something wrong but uh, I don't play on this account too often but I do like getting my heroes up so let's go and check out how exactly we want to do this, guys. I believe in showing rather than telling, so we will go find a base here. So right here, guys, 2,000 Dark Elixir. Now we got the storage on the inside here. We have one expo on ground. We have the queen over here. And when you're farming Dark Elixir, you want to make sure that Queen is not going to come over to the to the uh, pups after the loons are dissipated here. So we got the sweepers pointed in opposite direction. So how we want to do this is I'd probably want to take out the Queen first here. So let's go take her out. We have a golem in the CC. That won't do too much. We're just gonna get everything popped out here. Queen's dead. Perfect. We're gonna start our loon deployment. Now, really, it's just like spam style. You wanna get your two entries here, get your third entry. You wanna make sure that all the defenses around where the dark elixir storage are all gonna go down so you're gonna wanna get this air expo down and it looks like this side is clear to go queens down won't be much of a problem there if you guys don't have the king and queen really high upgraded and you can't split it like I do don't worry about it too much um, just look for bases where the queens not gonna be by the dark elixir storage so now we can just start breaking down some of these outer structures here and it looks like it's actually going to be a three star so uh, you generally when you're doing this you're going to have to snipe out stuff but this base was so under upgraded that it's really not going to matter so guys that is how you're going to want to be doing dark elixir we'll do another raid just to reinforce what we've learned on the first one uh, like I said I don't really want to talk too much about how to how you actually want to do this I want to more showcase uh, what's what's actually being done so that you guys can see you guys can can copy the attack and then you guys can put it forth in in your other style raids generally uh, you're gonna have to snipe the dark elixir storage which is what I thought we were gonna have to do but this guy really not much of a match but the next attack here we will not have our heroes because both our heroes are dead and that's going to be 2,000 Dark Elixir, and I believe this takes 20 to 30 minutes to, to make. So you can go in, train up your army here. Okay, so we have everything set up, so let's go find a different base where we'd have to snipe out something here. Because I'd rather show something that requires a little bit more. See, now here... He's got all his four air defenses and an archer queen there protecting his CC. Uh, expos aren't on ground, but it's really not really not a base we would like to target because we're probably not going to be able to get the town hall and the dark elixir storage. So we're going to pass on that. We're going to go see, oh, this guy's got 3,000. 
All right. Where's this guy's queen? Make sure you spot where the queen is. Uh, but it's not on the outside. See, I don't know if we're going to be able to get both of those. So I could probably nab about 2,000 off this guy. If I had my heroes, I'd be able to do this. Um, we're probably going to skip this one. If you don't have the firepower, guys, you might as well just skip the base. There's no point in trying to really fight the system here. And also, if you find bases with a lot of Dark Elixir, make sure you check what's going on in their, their little uh, drills. Because a lot of times, people could have drills just sitting on the outside, and they'll be full of Dark Elixir too. So you guys can always take advantage of that. I usually just drop my queen in there and uh, get the job done. So here we got the queen. She's right sitting by that Dark Elixir. We got, this, we got the Air Sweeper over there. Not really a base I'd want to fight the sweeper on, so definitely pick your battles when you're trying to farm Dark Elixir. Since the armies take about 20 minutes to train, you have a little bit of time in between each one, especially if you're going to be going, trying to do this for about an hour uh, to find the right match. So we're going to search our opponents and see what we can find here. Looks like it's taken a while to find the different bases here. I should have just took one of the earlier ones. But guys, that's how it goes when you farm dark. That base I just passed probably had dark elixir in the drills because the storage looked completely empty. But when you're farming dark elixir, you're going to want to go for storages with at least two to 3,000. Right here, this guy's kind of got his dark elixir storage sitting on the outside is his drills are they snipeable? yeah I can snipe his drills so guys that's gonna be one thing you wanna look for look for their drills see if you can snipe something with them um, you can do like trade off like, like here we'll do a trade off for an archer tower just so I can get that drill over there and I was not expecting all that stuff but we get it down so now that archer tower's gone, now I can take that out. Look at that. Free DE. Free DE. And I think Tunnel 9 only has two drills, so now all I have to worry about is getting to that dark elixir storage. So I believe I have a... Oh, I have more looms. Ask your clan mates for help for getting some more loons here. And then you're just going to... I really want to paint the outside of the base with loons and rage and that should really open up the whole whole base here I really wish some of those loons would have grabbed that archer tower because it's going to be suspect going in oh they got it nice see when you're doing this the queen's always going to stay up so you're going to want to search for bases that the queen's not not really uh, has a good hold on. So now when you're breaking out the, the stuff here for the center of the base, you're going to want to get your minions going from the outside inwards. See, all they're going to break everything up on the inner wall, come upwards, and then they're going to drop down into the base. And then they're going to drop right down to this dark elixir storage, which is exactly what we want. We want all that dark elixir right here. King's gonna go down, and then our loons have already triggered all the bombs, and that's gonna be some free DE, guys. Look at all that. Look at that. Only 481 in the town hall because we took care of the outside. So, guys, that's gonna about wrap it up here. Uh, if you need any other different advice, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will do my best to get some new content out there. Uh, I haven't been uploading recently because I just took a trip down to New York City. So I'm looking to get some more stuff up on the channel very soon, guys. So any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is El Lolliot. Have a great day.